Right. Well, first of all, this bluefin tuna is a big, healthy looking fish. Researchers tell me they were impressed by the size and shocked to see it here. They want to know how it got to and washed up on Orcas Island, how it died since it looks to be in otherwise good condition and what it tells us about the ocean. When Sea Doc Society wildlife veterinarian Joe Gatos first got a call about this Pacific bluefin tuna spotted on Crescent Beach by Orcas Island's East Sound, his reaction was awe. Sure enough, this giant tuna was sitting on the beach and it was so beautiful. I mean, with the sun coming up and the, and, uh, the tuna sitting there, I was like, you know, this is kind of surreal. Like, what's going on? He called up researchers at the University of Washington's Friday Harbor Laboratories, who were also surprised to see this species so far north. It was really just a, a mind-blowing experience, and it felt unreal, even as we're pulling up to the dock to this massive fish that had been placed on a gurney for us to put onto a rhesus vessel. Noah says in the U.S., the fish are mostly found within 100 nautical miles of the California coast. Dr. Carly Cohen says while there are some records of bluefin bones washed up in BC, this is an unusual event. These are temperate species. They don't like our cold waters. Um, so it's quite bizarre and quite rare that it showed up here. Gatos and Cohen say the fish's body was in good condition with no net marks or broken bones they could initially see. They hope studying it will answer how it died and how it got here. Why is it in the Salish Sea? Um, you know, is it because water is warming? Is it because it got lost? Did it expose to a harmful algal bloom? All those theories, just possibilities. But Gatos hopes answers reveal new insight about our ocean and says the more we learn, the better we can take care of it. Next, researchers will look at things like the fish's stomach contents to give them clues to its whereabouts. Back to you.